Hi, Donna Woods with Photonic Health. Today I wanted to chat with you about when to use your red lights on a horse that is in work. A lot of times we only think about using uh, red light therapy or light therapy when our horse has an injury, is lame, has a health issue going on, and we use light therapy to get them back to homeostasis or a healthy state. And so today I wanted to chat with you. Let's talk about prevention. What, how can we use lights to prevent injuries and also what does that look like from a horse owner's perspective because we know that you have a limited amount of time and when you are spending time with your horse you're going to want to be riding it playing with it training you know actively doing things with it so first off um, we are horse owners we have eight horses and I'm currently studying dressage. We've been in the natural horsemanship world for over 20 years. And so through our journey, we have discovered that the best thing is always prevention. But what we do before we go to ride, at least a once a week basement basis, we'll go ahead and we'll do a basic assessment on our horse. Now that's just us um, because we're equine practitioners as well. Um, but what we then do is we go ahead and we can illuminate the horse in very specific areas and we have narrowed it down so that you can do a five minute protocol, you could do a 10 minute protocol, or you can do a 20 minute protocol. And the reason we do that is because it provides the horse with relaxation to start with. Second of all, it is an immediate pain reliever. And thirdly, it helps to release fascia and rebalance. And when we're riding our horses, we want them to be in balance. Now with them being, you know, the vehicle for us to be riding on, um, our balance impacts them. So they need to be set up for the best case scenario for providing um, a balanced position. The other component of that is, is think about like if you were to go to the gym and you had hurt your right shoulder and you're going to go and you're going to work those muscles out. Now your right shoulder is hurt, it's causing you some pain, but you're absolutely adamant about going and working out. What's going to invariably happen is your body is going to compensate in some way, shape, or form. Even though you can still perform that exercise, you might, um, you know, turn your hand out a little bit so that you can accomplish the same goal. Not exactly, but you accomplish the goal, the end goal of let's do these repetitions. What's happening in actuality is that you're actually strengthening a different set of muscles. So one of the reasons that we are so uh, much proponents of illuminating your horse before you ride or before you do any sort of groundwork is to get that horse back in balance, take them out of pain so that they can develop the proper set of muscles. Um, so it's, it's easier to train the ideal set of muscles than to train the improper muscles and then try to go back and, and retrain. It's like doing things two or three times. And the other component of it is there's tons of clinical studies out there that have actually shown that red specifically increases the respiration of that muscle and the recovery rate of that. So what that means in layman's terms is that the horse can actually do more and get more benefit from that workout if they were exposed to red light prior to that particular workout, if you call, if you call, want to call it that. So that's, um, the, the, that's just a brief synopsis of um, why you would want to illuminate your horse on a regular basis, especially if they're in work. So pull out your lights, 
grab your book on light therapy for horses and um, take a look at the opening points, the hired release and the fascial release and at least do those before you ride your horse or you do groundwork with your horse and you're going to come out with a happier, healthier horse that's going to be less prone to injuries and more prone to being sound and um, healthy throughout their entire life.